What's up guys, my name is KillerCloud, and in this video we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do vape tornadoes, how to do the tornado. Very basic trick guys, it's not very hard to do, but it does take a few steps, four steps to be exact, to get this tornado down. Okay, so the first step is you have to have a black surface, something that's very dark. I happen to be using a tabletop laptop stand kind of and it has a very black matte black surface you want something that's very dark to show that vapor protection on if you have a light surface like a white or very like tiffany blue let's say uh it won't show the vapor as much as it does a black surface so that is preferable um step two you do need a vape mod something that performs pretty well let's say like a, a sub ohm tank an rta a rba an rda setup uh uh, cloud chasing setup, trick setup, that type of thing. Uh, that will perform pretty well for what you need. Now, all these guys using a disposable easy, no, no, no. <laughs> you can't use this, mainly because one, vapor is super thin. With the tornado, you need really dense vapor to produce a good tornado. With this thin setup, this really non milky really shitty setup you're not gonna to do i mean you could be the best trickster ever someone gives you a disposable e-cig and says hey fella do this trick with this crappy e-cig i found at the gas station uh they're not going to be able to do it okay they're not going to be able to do it especially a tornado which you need damn you need vapor protection <laughs> anyway so step three you need to have your hand a certain way I like to do like a C, like you're cupping, you're going to cup the vapor, stick it in the center of that vape haze, and you're going to cup it and lift it, and that's going to produce the tornado. Now you can go slow, or you can go pretty quick, and it, uh, it makes different tornadoes, like thick, dense, you know, really girthy uh, tornadoes, or really thin, wispy tornadoes, but they will be a tornado nonetheless. So, uh, and then fourth is the last step. <clears throat> you need no wind. You can't have any wind in your room. For all these people doing tornadoes, and they're like, I can't do a tornado, which I can't do it. Is your fan on? Well, yeah. Well, you can't do a tornado. You have to have your fans shut off. You have to have your windows closed, your door shut. Winter is coming, my brothers, and we cannot have any wind. No wind has to be the deadest night, the deadest night to do the tornado, because the tornado is a dangerous trick, and we have to have dangerous, no wind movement areas to do this awesome trick. <clears throat> so anyway, so I'll, I'll recap on the four steps. One, you need to have um, black service, preferably something dark. Two, you need to have a vape mod, something that produces quite a bit of vapor to do this trick. Three, you need to have a cupping hand motion to kind of get the tornado to coax it to go. And then fourth, you need no wind. Uh, no wind in your room, no moving air, that type of thing. It really helps out with the tornado, guys. Uh, so just remind, so if you have an AC in the room, turn it off. If you have a window open, shut it. If you have a door, shut it. And if you have a fan on, turn it off. So, um, that's basically it though, guys. So, I'm going to go into the next frame, show you guys how to do the tornado, and we'll see you guys later. Okie dokie, guys. So, this is my black tabletop service. I happen to be using a laptop stand. It's going to work though. So, I'm going to put some juice in these coils and get started. So, the four steps are you have to do it. You have to follow those four steps. To get the tornado down there's no there's no um trick in skipping all those four steps and then somehow getting a tornado those four steps are crucial so black surface got my vape mod juiced up so what you want to do is drop the vapor either in the center of that table or on the side it doesn't really matter because it's going to spread no matter what so whatever uh you're gonna have your hand a cupping motion stick in the center of the table and then or the center of that vape haze and Scoop and lift. Scoop and lift. Like you're scooping ice cream at Baskin Robbins. So, you're going to scoop and lift, and then that should make the tornado. So, and then there's another way you can kind of coax a tornado to kind of get longer by moving your hand like this really fast on that kind of medium portion of the tornado, and that's going to coax it to get longer and 
in length. It's going to get longer. So let's get right to it, guys. Great Scott, Morty. We got a tornado. And that's basically it, guys. So those are the, that's the tornado. It's really basic to do, guys. Once you have to, once you get down the uh, the way to move your hand, kind of scoop in motion. So I'll just kind of move it down real quick. So you want to take your hand like this, put it in the center. Center and lift. Center lift. Center lift. That's basically it, guys. So, that's the tornado, really. It's very basic to do, like I said before. You just have to get your hand the right way, get that milky that milky haze going on, and then scoop and lift, and you'll get the tornado down. Now, before I end this video, quick note. Um, when doing tricks, like I said before, it's very crucial that you don't use nicotine. I use 3 milligrams because it tastes like zero. And in my opinion, it tastes like zero. But uh, when you're doing tricks, you don't want to get tired. Nicotine makes you tired over time, makes you go to the bathroom. We know how it does it. Uh, so you want to use no nicotine at all when you're doing your vape tricks to practice them. Mainly because when you're vaping for a long period of time, if you're you know trial and error to get it right, you don't want to be nicked out. Uh, two, you do want a higher VG level than PG, mainly because you want that density. So I recommend anywhere between 100% VG to a 70-30, roughly around there. That uh, so a 70% BG, 30% PG, 80, 20, 90, 10, 100% BG. So some somewhere in between that line, and uh, you you want to have a lot of patience with this. It's not going to get down in the first try. Some people you can get it down in the first try. Uh, 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 many other people are going to take a lot of practice to get this, and then once you practice, you know, a lot more and a lot more, then you can be able to get down the trick, and it's going to be really easy. So. Practice makes perfect. Be patient with it, and you will get the trick down, I promise. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Vape on, be safe, and have a great day.